Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world, thanks for tuning in. This is Mech Warrior 2, and this is Mission 6. Mission 6, Defensive Counter, Base Ares. Detect, intercept, and uh, negate, not negotiate, enemy force, I guess you are negotiating against them, uh, attempting to penetrate Steiner space. Now, we do have three missions here. So we've got, that's detect, intercept, that's locate and coordinate to destroy an airfield and that's to drop in and catch the headquarters. Hmm, I think I'm going to do the combat rescue. No other reason other than it's like joining with other people's forces. So that sounds quite interesting. So combat rescue and claymore. Destroy air traffic control tower and link up with Claymore's Atlas. Now that'd be quite nice if we actually get the Atlas. I'm very doubtful that we will. Let's find out what's going on. Task Force SIG-9 fell under heavy fire en route to disable a banked airfield. The only survivor is Mech Warrior Claymore, now trapped in a hostile area. Drop into the heart sector and link up with Claymore and complete his original mission to destroy the bandit airfield. Stein of High Command suspect Heart Airfield to be major supply artery between House Lyle and Bandit forces. Elimination of the airfield will leave the bandits without critical supplies. Now, with our tactical officer's notes, I'm not going to do the voice again, so you don't need to worry about that. The Stein of Mech Warrior is in a tough spot. He's surrounded by bandits on all sides. We're going to punch through the south and make our way forward to his last transmitted location. His mech will be powered down to avoid detection so we won't have a sense of contact for him. Once we find him we're going to finish the original mission destroy the airfield. Be careful. Claymore's task force was a heavy and assault force here. Just making sense that bandits could repel mechs of that size unless they had some help. So what that means for us well we've got a limit of 160. Now I'm going to i got Sha Yu, I'm going to get rid of the Sha Yu, and I'm going to put in an Anubis. And maybe get rid of the Razorback and stick it, I can't stick in. Well, let's see what else we can purchase, if there's anything at all. I don't really want to get just a Ghost Rifle. I mean, it's, it's powerful, but... Do I want to get a Hunchback? I mean, how many, what, what do we have, weight limit, we've got 40, that's not going to do, 44, we've got Anubis, a Shayu and a Star Slayer can be up in front and I'll stick in another Anubis in there, just for the LRMs, now he's going to be a tank, he's going to be up front, obviously the Shayu and the other one as well, uh, got the, the best of armour. The job was going to be in there. He's been there for, since the start, pretty much, with his little bandito. His little bandana. It's fine. So, Shayu, he's the auto cannon. We're going to stick in the auto cannon specialist in there. Uh, this one. Ooh, steel. He's got toughness. Oh my. Um, ba 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 ba. What to do? Do you know what? I'll stick a sensor specialist in there for him, because he does have good sensors and then flash for a light mech as well and that's what we're going to go with now we should link it with an atlas which is going to be our main tank obviously with the rest of this mission but it might be difficult to get there so we know that he's in that area somewhere we've all got jump jets which is quite helpful let's find out if there's anything below us that is you know maybe worth having a little look at doesn't look like there's anything so far. There is little tiny islands. Sometimes these hold resource points. Sometimes they hold areas of being able to jump in and out of. In this case, I suppose we could. There is a resource point there. So we're going to go get that pretty much. So we're going to head up here. Hopefully we don't encounter anything horrific.
because obviously they were saying that the previous mech lance was a heavy assault mechs. So hopefully we don't encounter any assault mechs in our travels. That would be pretty bad if we did. We will not be able to take out an assault mech with the class that we've got just now. You know, light mechs and two mediums. So that puts us up to salvage one mech. That's grand. Now I'm going to see if we can jump jet over here. Maybe avoid some of these fights. It's Oh, looking quite unlikely. It doesn't look like we can do that. Uh, let's see if there's another way. No, it looks like we're just going to have to go back the way that we came. We're going to try and be careful this time because obviously in the last mission we did lose one of our Shayus quite early on. Well, a bit mid halfway through the, halfway through the mission. Uh, I would like to say it made it a little bit more difficult, but, you know, the PPC did punch a hole through our armour. Cause us to lose one of our Shayus. Not a great position to be in. So, I'm going to try and avoid that this time. I'm going to try and be a little bit more careful. If that's possible. Now, I'm going to get my Star Slayer to go up in the front while we're engaging. It's just her asses, so that's not too bad. We can deal with that. So that's them taken care of. Now, we're going to get away from the fuel tanks just because, you know, if they decide to blow that up, we're a bit buggered. You know, we could lo easily lose a mech, easily lose two mechs. Now, I'm sure these pack a punch. Cool. LRMs have proven helpful. Yeah, we're blown for these. That's an Arden mech. Chopper, you're getting into his face. The rest of them are going to pull back a little bit. I'm going to put you into group two. Just because I can deal with you a little bit better. Because they're going to try and come after that. And we can get a big hitters up in front, so. And then we're just going to follow the track, because there is turret controls and stuff like that. I'm going to see if we can jump jet up this up this cliff. If we can, that's quite nice for ourselves. It's looking unlikely. Well, we are missing someone. Chopper. You're so slow. We can, actually. doing okay. That's a fire ant. We don't need a fire ant. That's alright. Cool. So that was pretty well done on our part, I have to say. We managed to get in behind the turret controls and take care of that. Now, we're just going to go up this hill to see if there's anything about. Obviously, our LRMs are going to do much better up the hill as well. Good that our uh, Claymore Oh no. Chopper. Worm. You're missing. So I'm just going to get him up there. We can just take care of this cargo truck. That's not too much of a hassle. Shot, huh? That seems to be my catchphrase on this, this playthrough. Not too much of a hassle. Um... So it doesn't seem like there's anything else going on here. We're just going to go with this other hill. See if we can get a bit of extra range onto here. I'm going to get these to hold the ground. And I'm going to run in with these guys and pull back. 
should be okay. Doesn't seem like it's anything too particularly heavy at the moment. Yeah, it's nothing too heavy at the moment. There's a little fire ant. That'll go down relatively quickly. If I can get my novices back, get them, you know, don't want them in the front line. Yeah, if you guys can just blast that fire ant from afar. Yeah, not too bad. That's just a hunter. It seems like he's got some LRMs. Break away the distance. Now we're going to go up this hill because there is... The turret control is well at the back. Wow, that was a, very much a critical. So we've all got jump jets. Um, Too bad. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do, just jump over the fence at the top here. And take out the Don't have to worry about it, really. You know. Now we're getting sort of not necessarily attacked. That's gate control. Their SRM turrets. The turret control is down there. Oh, it's another. It's a star slayer. It's, I need my. But you guys can take care of that. I'll get my star slayer and my Shayu to take care of this. If I can, yeah, he is available, but he has almost nothing on him, so, okay, we're just going to head round and take it, get this, this turret control here. Yeah, that should be okay, just run and get it. Easy, easy, easy. To do next, we can obviously do you not. Know, I might get that star slayer just I might get that star slayer. I'm not too sure. The Anubises are doing great though. I think that was a real good shout getting put into Anubises. And now, obviously, all the, all the mechs they want to target them because they are the weaker of well, the four mechs, the weakest ones, but they are still. In my mind, one of the better ones, to be honest. Let's find out. Objectives link up with the Claymore's Atlas. Now, Claymore's Atlas, they're saying, is down here somewhere. I'm going to get this first. 
because there's a resource building there. Building that. It's kind of strange Enemy though, like, captured. yeah okay, it's it, there's been quite a lot of defences and things like that, but in terms of being able to destroy a, you know, an assault lance just doesn't make sense to me. Just, I don't see it. Not from what we've faced so far. Maybe it will change. It doesn't really make sense so far. I've discovered a second airstrip in the area. We need to destroy both air traffic control towers to completely knock out the bandit supply line. Check your tag map for the location of the second tower. Oh, it seems to it seems to sound like I do a little bit. Sounds like he's from Edinburgh though. That's the only thing. And we can't have that. So let's have a look at our Atlas. Machine gun array, heavy AC. Oh no, we're under fire. So we were checking out the Atlas before we get rudely interrupted. Large laser, LRM packs. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Pretty decent, I have to say. Well, it is a hundred ton mech, so. It says that there's not. That's no, that's the extraction. Okay, that makes more sense. Now there is stuff up here. Vehicle destroyed. <laughs> Is there something coming up behind us? Yeah, it's just a fire ant. It's honestly not much of a hassle. Now, I'm going to get my two Anubis's back. get my two nubuses just to run in It's a raven! I want a raven. Oh, please, please, oh, please. Yes! Ravens are phenomenal light mechs. Raven Prime. So, the reason I like the Raven is because it normally comes with this Guardian ECM and obviously Advanced Sensor. Now, these are one of the best light mechs in terms of scouting. Now, the Guardian ECM essentially stops lock ons from occurring. So, have you ever seen when we've been engaging other M carriers and 
the the missiles will go to attack obviously our mechs some will hit it and some will won't well guardian acm makes it more likely that it's not going to be able to attack us so i'm just gonna yeah i'm gonna oh Okay, they're okay. So as you can see, that massive, massive laser sensor, that's pretty much because of the Raven. It's pretty quick as well. Just gonna run in and get this laser, this, this turret control. Ah, yeah, that's just gonna do the same thing over here. But yeah, I also play a Raven in Mech Warrior Online as well. So yeah, I kinda like it. <laughs> it's one of my favourite one of my more favourite mechs. Obviously my favourite of all time is still going to be the Timberwolf or the Mad Cat. Um just by you know just it's the Mad Cat is just phenomenal. It's got LRMs, it's got PPCs, you can put ghost rifles on it, you can put lasers on it, it's just so versatile. It's amazing. So, we're just going to really send our atlas in first. So we're just going to... What's this? Star Slayer. Where are these going? What the hell? Okay, so yeah, that's us essentially done. I don't really need another Star Slayer. I kind of like the one I've got. I've got my Raven. Super glad I've done this mission now. It's been amazing. I really don't think we'll be able to keep the Atlas. If we can't, if we do, then then fantastic. But I would doubt it. Two Anubises worked out amazing. You know, at sixty tons for eight LRMs. That's really, really good, and they're super quick, and I've got jump jets, you know, obviously intermittent sensors as well, so they've been good. Obviously, one of the ones I'm really excited about, the Raven, as I said before, something just due to the fact, I mean, SRM packs, ER lasers, but again, this Guardian ECM will help us stop taking damage, essentially, and just, you know, look how cool it is, it's, it's so cool, it's, oh, it's amazing. Honestly, one of the best light mechs. Just, as I said, solely because of the fact that you can just use it. This guy's so slow. <laughs> you can just use it, obviously, as your scout. I love it. So the Atlas, is, the, the Atlas is really, really good mech as well. I do think, personally, that is better assault mechs at 100 tons. I really like the design of the Awesome as well. I wonder if we'll be able to get to see that in this game. But, you know, I imagine that'll be one of the... Obviously, the awesome is, is a lighter assault mech at 80 tons. So... Oh, do I take... Do you know what? I'm just going to take another Star Slayer. Just, just because it's one of the better medium mechs. I didn't need it during the mission, so... Lot of kills for Chopper, obviously sitting in the Star Slayer as 
that's his mech. Like, he has claimed that. No doubts, no questions asked. That is Chopper's mech. Obviously, Flash and the Anubis doing really well, you know. Meets leveled up. It's really nice. So, yeah, you know, we've got veteran skills, medium, pulse laser, ER laser, ether M. I might stick him. A medium for the Shayu. The Shayu could be his mech. Could be his mech because it's got the medium. Oh, I mean, even the bushwhacker, even the bushwhacker's got a medium auto cannon on it as well. So yeah, either or them would be pretty good. So that's that one mission down, and that's us for mission five. What was it? Six. Mission six dash one, and I will see you the next time. Thanks for watching.